Maybe you're wondering how to get this Copilot button in PowerPoint and then create PowerPoint in seconds. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Copilot in PowerPoint to create wonderful PowerPoint deck like this in just a few clicks using Copilot. So first thing first, you'll have to add to this website right here, Microsoft.com, and then I'll put it in the video description below. And then you can just scroll down to plans right here. And just a spoiler alert, you will need to pay for Copilot to unlock it in Copilot and PowerPoint. So I'll show you how to install it and activate it. But one thing though, don't worry, I have a free workaround for you. So you'll be able to try Copilot for free if you just do that. Click on the personal here and then you have the price. So this is the personal version of Microsoft Copilot. So you will need to not use a business email for that. Just use your personal email and you'll be able to try Copilot Pro for free for one month at the time of recording this video. And it will give you to mostly all of the features of Copilot and PowerPoint, except creating a PowerPoint from a PDF, which is only available in the business version. Normally it costs 20 US per month, roughly 27 Canadian dollars. But then if you have an enterprise version, so if you have a business email, you will want to go to the business tab right here and unlock Copilot for all of your organization. But watch out, you will need to pay for an annual subscription. So it is $360 per year per user, and it gives you access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, and many other features that I won't get through in this video. I'll let you fill out your credit card information. You click on Get Microsoft 365, and then you fill all this information right here. I'll let you find it on the internet, but it's pretty simple. You just want to add Copilot, which is a complete separate license from your Microsoft 365 license. So it's not included with your Microsoft 365 Excel, Outlook, etc. It's another license on top of your Microsoft 365. And then once you have paid and everything, you go back to PowerPoint and you will have to go to the file here at the top left. And then you will go into account. You will have to click here on update license and then make sure you sign in on the same account that you bought your license with of course the same microsoft 365 account and then when you go back to your powerpoint you will have the button right here at the top you might have to restart your powerpoint 